Grammy-winning poet Jay Ivey and two-time Grammy-winning singer-songwriter Tari Torre have been married for nearly 26 years <laughs> and are some of the most highly respected names in the music industry. Today, they've worked with artists like Beyonce, Jay-Z, John Legend, to name a few, and now they're using their beautiful voices in the Griot's upcoming audio drama. It's called Harlem and Moscow. The six-episode podcast series tells the true story of the Harlem Renaissance in the Soviet Union. A pivotal moment in black history. Tari plays the role of Sylvia Gardner, and Jay Ivey portrays leader of the Harlem Renaissance, Langston Hughes. Take a listen. I would love to shake your hand, but it seems to be occupied by a telegram. Hold on, this looks familiar. That ship to me is an ark. Whoever wrote this has an excess of drama and of coins. To buy so many words when hold the boat stop, on the way stop, could have easily sufficed. But now your hand is unoccupied, so put it there. Stand up, please welcome Jay Ivy and Tori Torre. Come on out. You've been together 20 years. I gave you 26, so I added six, and you're going to pass that. 20 years together, you both recent Grammy wins, The Light Inside, Um, Extraordinary, (laughs) and uh, Best Spoken Word Poetry Album. So, first of all, that category was only started last year. So you are just changing the face again and reinvigorating poetry and spoken word. How does it, how did it feel to walk up there to get it? Oh man, like a dream. I'm still, I have a cloud. You ain't seen my cloud? <laughs> you know, we, we float, we floated on out here. It's, it's been surreal. It's yeah. feel like, you know, we in this movie, it's just a huge blessing to be able to, you know, stand in the footsteps of so many greats, stand on the shoulders of so many greats and, and put a, a beautiful light on poetry. I love this, and this, and this podcast, mm-hmm. When, even when I said to the audience, you know, Harlem and Moscow, the, the Harlem Renaissance in the mm-hmm. Soviet Union, it's like, mm-hmm. wait, what? Yeah. I mean, you're exactly. always on the forefront. And, and not to mention you won the Apollo, what, six times, something like that. <laughs> the Apollo <laughs> Theater over there did Apollo. Um, <laughs> but in a world of the same, to mm-hmm. create something that's never been heard mm-hmm. is so special. It is. It's a it's a huge responsibility, but it's also necessary. Why did you feel it was necessary? I think our job as artists is to to reflect what. First of all, we have to reflect the, the shoulders that we're standing on. We're standing on the shoulder of giants, mm. and then you have this this world where digital life is like so prominent now. But back then, their their way of of communication was this radio. Mm-hmm. So it was really this the, thing called the, the radio. Yeah, <laughs> it's really the first form of podcasting yeah. because this is how the world connected. Mm. And so to be a part of something like that, to be able to feel the the nuances and the in the, the rhythm of it, and to be a part of being able to tell that story, that's the important, right. you know, that's an important mission. It's a responsibility. It is so beautiful. And to have the responsibility of being Langston Hughes, the voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> how do you prepare for something like that? Well, uh, you, you breathe. <laughs> 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 you dream. Um, Langston Hughes is one of my heroes. Yeah. Um, when we moved, we moved to New York. You know, we from Chicago. Yeah. Chi-Town represent. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, town fam? What's up, town fam? They <laughs> and, uh, followed me from Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Wright. Right. Um, so we moved to New York some years ago, and, and we actually lived a few blocks away from Langston Hughes' home. So I would just walk past, and ironically, it was covered by Ivy. Yeah. And um, I had an opportunity to, to perform there. They were having an open mic, so I just went through one day and had an opportunity to be in his home and, and, and perform. So, you know, you, you reflect back to moments like that, you, you read up, you, you think about the impact. I mean, we share the same first name, James. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, it's surreal, but you just trust what you've been given, you trust your gift, and, and you go for it. Well, your gift has given the world, both of you, so mm-hmm. much joy. Thank you. I love it. And I, again, as I said, so many people, I'm sure you hear people say, oh, these podcasts. 
This <laughs> is unique in its space and its place, and I'm yeah. so happy you've brought the light out. Thank you yeah. so yeah. much, yeah. as you yeah. always do. Thank you. Can, yeah, I shout out, yeah. can I shout out the Grio? We have oh, to yes, shout out the Grio. Absolutely. Thank you yeah. to the Grio family yeah. because yes. they are creating phenomenal content. Yes. And yes. as a Grio award winner, I appreciate <laughs> yes. the Grio. And this is the first of its kind. The first of its kind yes. podcast. Jay Ivy, sorry, Torre, you can listen to this first of its kind podcast. Harlem and Moscow on the Grio Black Podcast Network, wherever you get your podcast coming March 25th.